Our man, Andrew Bone, senior recruiting analyst at BamaInsider.com or the Rivals.com network, joins us as always on Wednesday to give us the latest scoop on the Crimson Tide recruiting efforts. Good morning, Bone. What's up, Gary? Doing well. Doing well. Still dealing with this heat. You ever seen? No, you haven't seen anything like it in your life, and I haven't either because we've never had 100 degree temperatures in October before. This is crazy, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's been uh, it's been quite miserable to walk outside. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But uh, pardon the pun, but Bama recruiting continues to heat up as the tide uh, looks to put together what could possibly still wind up being a number one ranked class. Uh, this past weekend, home game, SEC home opener against Ole Miss. Official visitors uh, were flocking to Bryant Denny Stadium. Uh, give us uh, give us an update on how the visits went this past weekend. Well, I think it went good. Um, you know, they had they had a, a trio of official visitors on campus this weekend, um, led by McKinley Jackson, the uh, big four star defensive tackle out of uh, George County High School over in Mississippi. Um, you know, McKinley's visited Alabama. You know, he said at least ten times now, and uh, you know, Alabama's making him feel like a priority. Uh, he's got a c- tremendous relationship with the coaching staff, you know, including some of the guys who. It weren't there last year. Uh, Sal Sinceri, who recruited him um, when he was at Florida, and uh, and Brian Baker, who recruited him at Mississippi State. So he, you know, he knows a lot of guys at Alabama. He's you know really comfortable there. But you know, it does seem like it's going to be a, a while before he makes a decision. It looks like he's probably going to take it all the way till signing day. Uh, and this was just his first official visit. You know, some people kind of you know look at that as you know being kind of a downside that you, know, you get the first official visit. Well. You know, he still has four more to take, and, uh, you know, he's going to be looking at, like, you know, these other schools. But, you know, I think you look back at Eric Gilbert, uh, you know, the big five-star tight end out of Georgia who took his first official visit to Alabama during the summer. And, uh, you know, now it kind of looks like Alabama's on the driver's seat for him. So um, it's not always a bad thing uh, to get the first official visit. kind of kind of sets the bar high for, uh, you know, for all the other trips. But, uh you know, there's probably a good chance that he even makes it back over to Tuscaloosa for, uh, you know, possibly even for the uh, for the Alabama LSU game, uh, you know, later on this season. But I think everything went extremely well for him, uh, you know, this past weekend. Um, another official visitor was Xavier Henderson, a four-star wide receiver mm-hmm. from uh, from Miami. Um, it was his second visit to Alabama this year. I made a quick trip to Tuscaloosa during the uh, during the summer. Uh, you know, wasn't really there long. Kind of spent just a few hours on campus, but you know, made it back up this week, this past weekend, had a great time. Um, you know, I think, you know, as of right now, you know, Alabama is really looking to add one more wide receiver. They've got a tremendous wide receiver class. I really like, um, you know, what Alabama has been able to put together, um, you know, for their receiver class with Javon Baker, uh, Thiel Jones, Bell, and, uh, and Trey Sean Holden. I think all those guys, you know, very good football players, um, you know, all of them, you know, really have an uh, opportunity to come in and make a big impact. Uh, but Alabama really looking to add one more wide receiver. Uh, Xavier Henderson's on, you know, that list of guys that they're targeting. You know, but there's some other guys that they really like a lot as well. Raheem Jarrett, uh, five-star wide receiver out of uh, uh, out of Washington, D.C., is kind of climbing up the, uh, Alabama's list of, uh, of target uh, targets. Excuse me. Uh, Kishan Boot. Uh, LSU commitment. Now, I still think uh, with LSU season, the way that they've been throwing the ball, I think it's going to be a little bit m- more difficult to flip Kashan Boot from uh, from LSU. But you know, Alabama's still pressing very hard for him. Uh, Arian Smith, four-star wide receiver uh, out of Florida, uh, another big part for them. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see how this plays out because I think Alabama really – is only going to add one more wide receiver to this group, and they've got some really talented guys that they're going after. And then the third official visitor that was on campus, uh, Des Moines Kennedy, uh, Alabama commitment, number two player in the state, very solid with his commitment, going to graduate early, uh, so there's no, nothing to worry about with him. One thing you've got at uh, BamaInsider.com that you do regularly that I really like are your Bama uh, football recruiting nuggets, and you did something – that I think Bama fans appreciate because the numbers are tight. You went through the entire class at every position in terms of who's committed, who else they might be looking for at those positions, and who is solid, plus who might be considered to flip. And when you break this class down like this, I mean, it's a good-looking class, but there is – 
quite a bit of uncertainty on the offensive line. Alabama has three commitments, Seth McLaughlin, Damian George, and Xavier Hill. But Hill and George are battling it, you know, in terms of their academics. There might potentially be a lot of movement here with this position, Bone. Uh, give, us the, give us the latest there. Yeah, it'll be quite interesting to kind of see what happens. Um, yeah, I think going in, you know, to these commitments, these guys both committed to Alabama during the summer, Xavier Hill um, out of Mississippi, Damian George out of Texas, um, you know, two guys who, you know, kind of had some academic questions. And, and I think, you know, I don't think those questions have been answered just yet. I think they're still working hard, still trying to get, take care of business, probably won't know anything for, for another month or two. But, uh, but, but, you know, they're working hard trying to, trying to make sure that they can get qualified. But, um, but you know, Alabama's still keeping a few guys, um, you know, out there that they're recruiting, um, not necessarily, you know, pressing. To, I don't think they're pressing to get commitments right now, but they're just kind of keeping tabs on them, trying to get official visits. Um, you know, Arian Park uh, out of Maryland, who uh, re- actually recently committed to Oklahoma, but he was offered by Alabama. Um, I think it was either late August or early September. Got an offer from Alabama, and it's still saying that he's going to take an official visit to Alabama. So, and he's a Rivals 100 guy, so that's a guy to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, Jonah Monheim is a uh, four-star offensive lineman from California, recently committed to USC, um, but still in communication with Alabama. Some uh, still looking like he'll probably come in for an official visit. So we'll kind of wait and see what happens uh, on the offensive line. We should know some more answers, um, you know, towards the end of uh, towards the end of the season, and we'll see if um, you know some uh, some more offensive linemen end up coming in town for official visits. Bone, uh, those Alabama fans that weren't at high school games on Friday night, uh, many of them were tuned into ESPNU for Bryce Young's uh, modern day team traveling across country to St. John's Catholic there in Washington D.C. and and Young didn't disappoint. Uh, five touchdown passes, over 400 yards, uh, just the type of performance that um, clearly has made him one of the best prospects at the quarterback position in, in the country. He lit it up, and his commitment has kind of lit it up for Alabama in terms of you get a guy like that and skill position players around the country kind of want to flock to be a part of it. What has his commitment the impact that it's made for Alabama with some of these key uh, receivers and, and uh, you know, they're still recruiting a running back or two, tight end. You mentioned uh, Gilbert. How has that commitment helped give Alabama a shot of, uh, shot of uh, juice with these other guys? Well, I definitely think it's, it's brought a lot of excitement to the class. I mean, anytime you get a player of his caliber, you know, especially at the quarterback position and, you know, kind of knowing – um, you know, what's in store for the future, um, you know, it gets a lot of players excited, especially guys that, um, you know, have Alabama on their short list. And, you know, Eric Gilbert, nation's top tight end, you know, I think, I think that even helps with him. I, I think that uh, even though Alabama appears to be in the driver's seat, I think, uh, you know, that can certainly help add on to, uh, add on to their lead. Um, Trayshawn Holden, who's an Alabama commitment, you know, it, looked like he was kind of wavering a little bit because he hasn't been to Tuscaloosa since last spring. Um, once Trey, or excuse me, once um, Bryce Young committed, uh, Trey Shaw's been tweeting a lot of positive things, uh, you know, about that now being his quarterback and how excited he is. So I think that's a, uh, you know, that's a very, you know, big plus for Alabama in terms of hanging on to Trey Sean Holden, um, who. Still may take some visits. Still may take some West Coast trips, but uh, but I think Trayson Holden uh, even more firm with his commitment right now. Uh, you look at some of these other wide receiver targets. Uh, Arian Smith, who didn't have Alabama in his top five before uh, Bryce Young com- uh, committed, now all of a sudden Alabama very strongly in the mix once again with him. Uh, Raheem Jarrett, five-star wide receiver uh, out of Washington D.C., uh, you know didn't have Alabama. Or, I wouldn't say didn't have Alabama in the top five. Alabama's really kind of been uh, turning up the heat on him in the last, uh, I'd say in the last month or so, um, after they went and saw him play earlier this season. He's a five-star wide receiver. Uh, He's an LSU commitment. But Alabama really hadn't been pressing for him. uh, But now all of a sudden, really starting to turn the heat up on him. And I think with, you know, him seeing that Bryce Young's committed, uh, you know, can only help. And uh, I would assume that he'll make an official visit to Alabama a little bit down the road. 
Bone, when you look at uh, and you've got your your ten recruiting yeah. thoughts out, your recruiting nuggets, so plenty of information for the folks at BamaInsider.com dot com to to read about. Uh, but I always ask you this, and I know it's again we're getting down to where there aren't many numbers, but uh, commitment watch. I mean, you've laid out kind of several different scenarios with with key players and and where they're going. Uh, anybody that you feel uh, could be pulling the trigger for Bama in the near future? It's hard to predict. Um, you know, especially with uh, you know with guys who aren't you know necessarily scheduled to commit or, or have any plans to you know la- probably last week I said to kind of watch out for Jamil Burroughs. Yeah, he's a four-star defensive lineman from Georgia who just recently decommitted uh, from Georgia. He was back in Tuscaloosa this past weekend, and and I also had him on commitment watch this past weekend. But as of right now, I would really kind of uh, probably put things on hold with him. Just because I think that um, you know Alabama's kind of watches some things, um, you know, with him off the field, uh, you know, academically, I, th- I think that you know as long as he can take care of business off the field, uh, he's going to be fine, and I, I still think that he's uh, going to be a part of this class. But you know, in terms of you know somebody just jumping on board, I, I think you're going to have to you know look at the defensive backfield. You know what's Nadab Joseph possibly going to do? The you know the elite junior college cornerback is he potentially going to commit soon? Uh, what's going to happen with Joel Williams, uh, four star DB from Baton Rouge? You know we've been thinking, all right, he's going to commit any single day, but he keeps on waiting, keeps on waiting. The longer he waits, I think it's going to be more difficult for him to end up in Alabama's class. So um, you know, there's a chance that Alabama may push for him to go ahead and commit soon. But if he doesn't commit soon, I, I can't. I can't imagine he'll be a part of the class. All right, as we get ready to wrap it up, of course, you're always watching for the ones that are going to commit, and uh, you've laid out some scenarios for guys that Alabama would like to uh, to get and possibly flip. One guy that Bama's fighting to hang on to that's a key member of this defensive line class is Timothy Smith out of Sebastian River there in Florida, and Florida continues to make a huge push. Uh, on the uh, stress level with Timothy, Timothy Smith, uh, how, how stressed do you think these Bama coaches are uh, that they're not going to be able to hold on to him? Well, I, I think they are stressed. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Um, Smith has visited to Florida a few times since uh, since his commitment to Alabama. They're making a you know major push for him. Uh, I think he's going to be back in Gainesville this weekend for the uh, for the game against Auburn. So yeah, I mean there's going to be a lot of excitement down there, and yeah, Alabama really needs to have a great defensive line class this year. And and uh, you know losing you know probably their best player on the defensive line, that would be a humongous loss. But, you know, there's still some very talented guys out there that they're recruiting. You know, Jordan Birch, McKinley Jackson, Alfred Collins uh, out of Texas, uh, Jamil Burroughs. Uh, you know, there's still a lot of guys that are out there that they're recruiting. So, you know, if they can get, a, you know, two or three of those guys, if they lose Timothy Smith, um, you know, would be great, but uh, but I, I think that they really need to hang on Timothy Smith because he's a uh, you know, he's a difference maker on the defensive front. Great stuff as always, Bone. Listen, folks. Uh, again, we just scratched the surface here on the program. If you want uh, this times about ten, uh, Bone, they need to get hooked up with uh, BamaInsider dot com, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, join BamaInsider dot com. Come on there, uh, get a thirty day free t- trial. Check us out. Um, Part of the Rivals.com network. Love to have you. Please follow me on my Twitter handle at Andrew J. Bone and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, on Bama Insider. Thanks a lot, Bone. All right, Gary. Thanks.